We're here at ITU Telecom World 2015 in Budapest, Hungary, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Jose Toscano, who is uh, the CEO and Director General of ITSO, the International Telecommunications and Satellite Organization. And uh, he's also here uh, because uh, he's been very involved in a major ITU initiative, and perhaps you could tell us a little bit about that. Okay. Well, uh, thank you very much for, for the introduction. Uh, before going, to, going specific to the initiative, I, I I could not be not be here. I think this is the place where you have to come if you have to you want to see the latest developments in industry sector. It's a place that where we have to come uh, if you wish to discuss the tendencies, what what needs to be what, to be to be done if you want to to connect the ones which are not uh, connected at this stage. You mentioned one of the initiatives, uh, we, in fact, the initiative that I consider to be the, the most important one. Uh, this is an initiative which was launched by the BDT director, Brahim Asanu. The name of the initiative is Smart, uh, Smart Sustainable Development Model, and is an initiative which is, is about saving lives. Uh, it's an initiative where we try to use uh, communication as a way of um, uh, making available the mechanisms which are there when a natural catastrophe occurs. Uh, unfortunately, as we know, natural ca catastrophes occur everywhere, every time, and we have to be able to provide people with means of communications and communications which can be used not only for the emergency response but for recoveries. This is an initiative which tries to combine uh, communications for development with communications for emergency. Uh, we have been working for the last two years uh, I'm pleased that some some results are already available. We are doing a project with ITU, ITSU, ITU and some uh, other partners uh, connecting the Pacific Islands uh, in order to, to provide a, a network which is there uh, if an emergency occurs. But also importantly, when an emergency is, is not there, this network is used for uh, ICT applications, e-health. Uh, e, e, e schools, access to, to, to online um, uh, government uh, services. So this tries to combine development, communications for development, with communications for emergency. As I mentioned to you, to you we have been uh, very uh, busy for the last two years. Uh, we are now in a stage of uh, deciding what needs still to be done. Uh, this will, I believe, uh, I believe that the results of this reflection uh, will be available in one or two months' time, and we go from there. Uh, I can tell you that, uh, and only to give us a little bit of the secret, uh, we will try to, to do a similar project in the Caribbean, uh, connecting the, all the islands and providing capacity for any emergency uh, which occurs. Because usually you've had these meetings at uh, ITU, but here you have the, the, your meeting here uh, of the advisory committee and the rest of your partners here uh, within the, the, the confines yes. of the uh, telecom world. Yes. Uh, and which has also, of course, enabled you to go out and, and to uh, have converse with the people here. Yes, yeah. because one of the aspects uh, of these initiatives is, uh, and one of the major things that we have to do is advocacy. Uh, we have to know, people have has to be informed that we are working on this because, let's be frank, still today there are many restrictions which do not allow for the, for the implementation of the most efficient systems. I'm going to give you an example, taxation. Some, could you imagine that in some cases, when there is an emergency and you, and you have op operators who want to, to, to give free equipment, the government asks for taxes to be paid? Could you imagine that? It's, okay. it's not possible. And that's something that we have to work and we'll be working on. So, as part of the exercise, there is an advocacy component. So it is very important for us to be, be here. You mentioned that we have old meetings in, in, um, uh, in, the, in Geneva. In fact, we had one in Doha uh, last December at the occasion of the, the, world, uh, the telecom. Uh, because again, uh, advocacy is important. I would appreciate all the help that you could give to us. Uh, to spread the world. We are here to save lives. And in terms of the people who are involved uh, with this initiative? Okay. So, uh, 
I'm very happy that in fact we have a blend of people coming from different, very different backgrounds. For instance, the advisory board, we have people coming from industry, uh, satellite operators, we have people coming from governments, we have people coming from uh, international organizations, but not only that, we have people which have come from very different backgrounds uh, with a huge amount of experience and all these blend together, in fact, I believe will enable us uh, to do something for the good of humanity. One aspect that I want to mention to you, this is not one more initiative. This is an initiative which is result is oriented, is an initiative where we want action to be taken in place. And that's why I'm happy we have done the Pacific Island project. We have installed a system for early warning about Ebola in Sierra Leone. We will be doing the Caribbean project and much more will come. I can assure you that. Oh, well, that sounds absolutely brilliant and it's very encouraging news. So uh, we hope that uh, you uh, are able to profit very much from your conversations here at ITU Telecom World and uh, we wish you the very best for the initiative and look forward to catching up with you again very soon. I hope next year with results. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thanks very much.